My name is Jesse Davis. I'm a field rep from Schluter Systems. I'm here on site in Lindsay at this beautiful home uh, assisting Burroughs Tile and Trim. We got Mac on the, on the tools right now. He's getting ready to install a line drain system. Uh, currently he is working on laying out the thin set. He's going to flat trowel it down to the surface so that we get good contact and then he's going to comb it back over with the tooth side of the trowel to uh, ensure that we have the proper ridges and the proper amount of thin set to hold our, our line drain trays down. So now that Mac has uh, applied the thin set using a one direction troweling method, which is the approved method by the TT Mac and the uh, TCNA standards, he's going to install our line drain tray, which he has already dry laid pre-cut for his application. So now he's gonna place that line drain tray right over top of the thin set and compress it down to collapse those ridges. It's important to note that once he has attached both trays together, he is using the Curdy Fix. We can use thin set. Ultimately, that seam will still need to be waterproofed with Curdy Band. As you can see, Mac has now installed the channel body support, which was that gray foam spacer that holds the channel body. He's thin setted everything together, as well as used Curdy Fix just as an added extra to ensure that that uh, drain body flange is attached to the support. Um, when it's installed, you can see that we have the Curdy membrane that's overlapped and folded over top that line drain. Once Mac is ready to continue on with the waterproofing, he will actually fold that back and tie that drain into the shower tray itself. Mac is putting up half inch Curdy board. As you can see, it does meet up with the half inch drywall that's already been attached outside of the shower space. He has pre-cut everything, dry laid everything ready to go so he knows where everything is going to be going. The screw fastening schedule for Curdy board is every 12 inches up and down utilizing our Curdy screw and Curdy washer and it'll go on every stud every 16 inches side to side. Where he has two panels that meet up against each other, he will then split the difference with the washer and screw. As you can see we have multiple screw heads and seams that we need to waterproof so as we can see Mac is now cutting the Curdy membrane, the Curdy banding that we have which is a five inch wide strip. He's cutting roughly five inch by five inch squares that'll achieve a minimum two inch overlap over top of the screw heads. Then he will take the banding again and cut them to full length to cover all the seams. As you can see now all the individual screw heads have been banded with our Curdy band with a minimum of a two inch overlap to achieve the waterproofing. We're now moving on to the full seams where the Curdy board meets another Curdy board. Mac has now taken our five inch banding, applied thin set below the banding, put the banding over top of the thin set, and now he's smoothing out the ridges, collapsing those ridges to create that perfect bond and perfect waterproof seal. When working with the inside outside corners, you'll notice that they do have the writing on the inside. It's not important to have that writing visible on the outside. As you can see, this works for an inside corner, but if you had a bench, this can also work as an end cap to waterproof that end of the board or end of the bench. For our inside corners or outside corners, you can see that if you were trying to wrap over top of a curb, this would go over top of the curb tying the wall into the other straight, the other substrates. If you're working with a niche here, this is a custom niche, we've had to use inside outside corners and some banding to properly waterproof it. You can actually take this, this um, corner piece here and flip it upside down and install it into the corner. You're going to hold here first with a drywall putty knife once you have the thin set onto the wall and you're going to slowly move the direction this way to collapse those ridges to get a nice crisp tight seal.